Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, EDC gear enthusiasts buy all sorts of gear and a whole lot of trash. But as you keep buying all this gear and multi-tools, specifically knives, how are you keeping this stuff away from your kiddos and your family? What about like when guests come over? Like, how are you keeping those fingers intact? In this video, we're gonna take a look at some EDC storage st solutions that I use to keep my family and my guests phalanges intact. But first, if you're the type of person that likes man cave stuff, tools, gear, you know, all that type of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. Now let's get right to it. I bring you the vault system. This is by Vault Company. It is in your face. You can see it in its all of its faux carbon fiber glory. So Vault is actually an acronym. It stands for versatility, accessibility, utility, layout, and toughness. I'm not sure if these things stand up to all those lovely adverbs and adjectives they use for description wise, but it is a nice play on words. So this is actually the second iteration of this bag. So the first one was called the Vault Case. This one is called the Vault Case Secure, which the only additional they have on here is they did add a TSA approved lock right there on the front there so that now TSA can go rummaging through your bag and use their little key that they keep on deck and not tear your stuff apart. So as mentioned, it has a TSA lock combo. The Vault Secure comes in two different colors. You can either get the faux carbon fiber, which I have here, which is pretty nice. Uh, it definitely shows uh, more of the fingerprints and all that stuff, or you can get it in the matte black. So both of them are, they give me the blow molded case feel if you ever had any tools or like mic equipment or anything that's like kept in a blow molded case. So this thing measures about 11 inches by six and a half inches. And once you get it stuffed, kind of like a burrito, it can vary. Right now, I think mine's probably coming in at a ballpark around three inches worth. So it also includes some grab handles, which are pretty well sewn in there. I will, pretty good sew job they did on that thing. You can kind of see where they got that in there and it also includes a shoulder strap which is only on here for this video but it does seem you know kind of clanky and doesn't really provide much shoulder pads so it's detachable so we will detach it all right so looking at the lock on the outside it does have this tsa approved lock as mentioned before you just simply push this little button it releases both zippers and now you can crack this bad boy open. So let me just show you what the case looks like when it's not loaded, what it looks like when it is loaded, give you some ideas about how you might wanna keep yours if you decide to pick one of these up. The case includes two small loop panels and here's one of the loop panels here. Basically you can take it and attach the knives or whatever gear to the outside of them or if it's slim enough you can stick those items on the inside it also includes medium loop panels which are similar to the small panels just a little bit bigger this one here that i'm shaking around is the medium loop panels and then they give you some large panels here as well just in case you need those it only comes with the one large panel so i did immediately buy another large pair of the Hook, uh, the loop panels these came in a pair and I got them in gray otherwise you will be stuck with just having a double-sided um, hook and loop patch which is cool if you got tons of morale patches but I don't have tons and tons of morale patches that need a home so I decided to replace that with one of their large hook and loop panels so one thing is is if you ever need to reset the password on here you just put your if you ever had to sell this thing or whatever you know put your current password in and the new password defaults to zero so it's pretty good to be able to reset this thing if you ever to sell it or give it away or something like that so that's pretty easy to do so the rear of each of these cases has basically an individual sections for the disassembly of knives or multi-tools or whatever you want to disassemble on the back they call this their maintenance panel so these panels allow for you to put items back here and they not go rolling all over the place you're not losing fasteners you're not losing bolts and nuts and all that other good stuff let's talk about some pros of this thing and as i crack open my case that i have here 
the pros here is that they do have the different size loops. They got the large, they got the medium, they got the small. That's pretty good. That's pretty good to go. The Mickey Mouse pa panels in the back is a good look, just in case you ever did want to do some type of modifications to your, you know, multi-tool or knives. That I like that that they keep that in the back. It does have different carry options. So you can carry it by this grab handle in the back, or you can slap on the actual shoulder strap if that's what you're down with. So they do have the flexible panel options. You can buy panels from them, or you can buy aftermarket panels as long as it has the Velcro, the hook and loop on the back, then you know you're gonna be able to use that in this system. You cannot look past the lock a TSA approves lock on the front of this thing is definitely something that you can look forward to. And finally, they're customizable with all this hook and loop paneling on here. You know, I decided to kind of throw a uh, couple of patches on here. No knives, no life, and of course the American flag. But everything is not completely pro Heaven. We also have a bunch of cons that goes with this thing. First of all, the zippers are complete trash. No, they're not YKK zippers. It kind of shows. It does feel like if these things were to ever slip off their track, you will be in for a world of pain trying to get them back on. The grab handle could be a little bit better. This just, it, I wish it was a little bit wider. I mean, it does have their logo on there and that's you know, that's pretty cool and all, but I just wish it was a little bit wider. If I'm going to be carrying this for a long amount of time, some padding would be nice. You know, buying more panels is a must for this system. If you don't buy more panels, you're going to be stuck with that double sided hook and loop panel, which is just not. I mean, this is cool and all, but they kind of get you right off the back with having to buy more panels because otherwise you're going to be stuck with putting tons and tons of patches on there. So if you buy the extra panel, kind of like I did, you can get about 21 knives and multi-tools in here, depending on how you put them in here. And at the end of the day, this does, this is basically just a glorified blow molded case. So, I mean, it can be cut through. It won't be a simple or fast cut, especially with tools inside. Those tools will be blocking the knife, but the uh, lock is just a deterrent. You know, obviously someone can take the entire case, or they could, if they have some time, they can cut through this thing. The price of this is $59.99. Now, if that's a pro or a con, that's something you're going to have to think about. It is your money. Um, so you're going to have to decide if that's worth it for you. And so it does seem pretty fair because I didn't really see a direct comparison on the market to make a quick comparison to. So the original case does not have the TSA approved lock on it. It's $39 and it's also not as wide. And I don't own that case because I did not see me being able to use that. If it didn't have a lock, I might as well just buy something off Amazon. And they also came out with colored versions of the original case. And the colored versions comes in like a this foliage green and a winter white is what they describe it. That's $44.99. And so buying these uh, extra panels that I purchased. They come in pairs and those are $14. So, you know, once you get your system kind of kitted out how you want it, it it's not it, not that pricey. So overall, I really wanted the TSA flexibility. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to different cities and TSA has been rummaging through my bag, whether because they saw a large liquid because of wine or liquor or something like that, or they saw a lot of knives. And I got the little TSA notes and they've been inside and things have been damaged. So I really wanted that flexibility so that they can just use their little lock. TSA, you know, TSA has a lock, a key that can go right in that lock. So now they're not destroying your locks, trying to investigate what you have in there. Also, at the end of the day, the lock is a deterrent for thieves. Yes, a thief is going to be a thief, right? So someone, if somebody wants to get in this case, they're going to get in this case. Uh, one big complaint I do have is once this thing is completely closed and stuffed. So I have this case stuffed kind of like a burrito right now. And it's overly stuffed just to show you, you know, the comparison of a case which is empty and you don't have that many knives inside versus a case which is damn near busting at the seams. So if you kind of look at these comparables, right, you can clearly see 
And this thing is not even completely full. I can get more knives in this case if I wanted to, more multi-tools in here if I wanted to. And it's it's already kind of bulky. When it becomes bulky like this, it becomes nearly impossible to get these little zippers into the slot for the TSA locks because you gotta be kind of like a magician. You're basically trying to pull these down into these slips. And when it's completely full, it is extremely hard to get those in there. Whereas when it's empty, it's pretty easy to just kind of take the zippers and slap them inside of the actual TSA lock. Now, there are some alternatives that you can consider and some alternatives that I've used. So you can obviously you can pick up some cases from Amazon or something like that. There are tons of them out there, but I couldn't really find one that already came with a TSA lock. So this one here is called the Ace Tech Tactical. This is a multi-purpose uh, EDC admin pouch. And for the longest, I had a bunch of my knives stored in these cases. And if you follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. You saw how this thing was busting at the seams. And, you know, it it's relatively inexpensive. It was only about 23 bucks. It does have laser cut molly on it. So it's nice and neat in the front and a little area for your little hook and loop patches and all that good stuff. Um, but once you start loading this thing up, it, it just fills up quickly, has a drain hole on the bottom. So it worked well for me for a while. I could put accessories in here, but it you can't lock this thing, at least not safely. You can throw a lock through these lanyards or even through the zippers themselves. But, you know, I just didn't feel comfortable because this is easier to cut through than those cases are. Hey, if you're getting good content from this video, make sure you hit that like button below. That really definitely helps us out. Now, another alternative is obviously you can go with a hard case. I have a Pelican 1450 hard case that I've had for a few years. You know, pros about this thing. This is American made. I have no clue where the vaults are made. I'm assuming they're made in China or Taiwan. Usually they're screaming that when you pull it out the box that they're proud where it was made. So this Pelican case is made in the US, but it's humongous. And the thing about this is you do have the ability to buy foam or buy dividers, but that's an extra cost. This case by itself is $112. And then you have to buy the foam and you have to buy or the dividers. So right now I have dividers in this and it's just a bunch of camera equipment inside. But just the dividers, you know, another 20 to 50 bucks, depending on which ones you buy. And you don't have that flexibility to quickly modify the inside of this for more knives, additional knives, whatever the case may be. Finally, with this case, you have to purchase the TSA lock. You, they do have plenty of TSA locks you can purchase and run through the side of this case. But, uh, you know, this does provide much more security. So that's it, man. So what do you think about the vault case secure? Would you even consider picking some of these up? Do you have an alternative that I've never even heard of before? Make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think about these cases is something you would even consider picking up. Hey, listen, if you're not a part of the battalion, we would love to have you a part of the battalion. If you like stuff like this, click click here. I'm going to put some videos up that you can check out right now. Maybe add some more gear to your kit. For those of you that are your first time, welcome everyone else. We'll speak soon.